Hi there, it's Alex from Self Empowered Hearts and I wanted to give you three powerful tools um, to stop your mind overthinking. This is something that I personally have experienced, the clients have experienced and I wanted to give them to you so that you can really help yourself to be able to get out of your overthinking mind. So the first one is to be present. And you're probably thinking, okay, but how do I be present? Well, if you're overthinking about, say, the future, uh, which is very much um, maybe anxiety and stress, that is obviously causing your mind and body to really go into turmoil. And then if you're thinking about the past and going over events or situations that's happened, then, you know, maybe it's depression and stress again that is causing the mind and body. So either them sometimes, even like, you know, it's, it's good to, to be thinking about the future and, and you know, in, in, in a light of wanting to think about what it is that maybe you want, you know, you desire or that what you, you like to see happen. But if we, even that, you know, if we're going too far for, you know, to, to not being in the now, then we're ending up that we're, there's this um, uncertainty and not feeling grounded in the situation. So I find that being present is like really heightening all of your senses. So your sight, your hearing, your taste, um you know, touch and really allow everything around you to to have that full experience. So, you know, if you're sitting down, you know, being aware of what you're sitting on, you know, is it soft, is it hard, you know, and feeling that against your body. If you're walking and moving around, you know, what's the ground underneath you? If you're on grass, is it soft, is it the pavement that's hard? You know, really being aware of and, and feeling the, the sensations and if you're eating you know really like to, really tasting everything that's um, that you're putting into your mouth and I do find that when you're being aware of the, your senses then you're being more present and being aware of what's happening right now another way of being more present is also concentrating on your breathing so when you're breathing in and out, you know, maybe you're feeling your chest expanding and um, going up and down, like if your stomach as well, and just really feeling into that experience. And if you find that your mind wanders, to bring it back to that as well. The second tool that I want to share with you is to change your environment. So this could be you physically just moving for where you are. So if you say inside, so then maybe go outside. If your if your environment around you maybe is cluttered and you feel that, you know, it's stressing you out, maybe to make you know some changes there, because a lot of the time when you you are overthinking, then it represents with what's around you. Um, and Feng Shui is amazing to be able to help you to show you where things are to really help you um, in different areas of your life. And also, I think with decluttering, it does mentally give you that clarity because you feel like it's a clean slate when things are around you. Um, are you, you it just mirrors you, you know, to how you're feeling and what, what's around you. And the third tool is, who does this belong to? This is a really powerful question that Access Consciousness use. And it's a, t a tool that I recently have been using on myself. And by knowing that 90% of our thoughts is not ours, it makes me feel that there's so much um, feeling of that, you know, it's okay. Like these things are, you know, these thoughts are coming up, but I have a choice to clear them. So with Access Consciousness, they have this clearing statement. Um, but before you do that, you need to find out with that, th with that thought if it feels light or if it feels heavy. 
So if it's light, you may feel that you're quite ex you know, expanding. You may physically find that your body's expanding. Um, if it's heavy, then you find that you're contracted. And you may find that you may not necessarily feel it within your body, but maybe you feel it within your gut. So just ask yourself that. If it's light, then it means that it's not yours. And you can say, um, I return to sender with love and consciousness. I'll say that again. I return to sender with love and consciousness. So you're releasing that and you're, that, that thought and you're sending it off with love and consciousness attached to it. So then, then that the person then learns and then um, and they have a choice of then to release it if they need to. Then with if it feels heavy, then it's what you perceive to be yours. So by this that you do a clearing statement and with access consciousness they actually do have an app um, and they do do the clearing statement there so if you go there you'll be able to find that clearing statement um i won't go into it because it's their tool and i want it to be available to you and that you can use it if you wish to um so i don't want to go be saying the, the clearing statement and if you're feeling like you know you want to hold on to what it is then you've got that choice so i really hope that helps you and you know if you put in the app store who the, does this belong to then you'll be able to find it and be able to help you there so i really hope this has helped you and that you find that that you have got this choice to be able to clear what it is that is over your mind is overthinking about and to know that yes your mind is there to to help you and and to, for survival but you have got the choice to be able to say, do you know what? I can clear this. I can uh, make myself feel better within this situation, be more present, be more grounded, to change what is around me. So I hope that's helped and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.